Hello and welcome to yet another episode of the Greekosophy channel. My name is Tam and in today's episode it's all about Greek wine. It's only two and a half months before Christmas arrives again and by the looks of it coronavirus is still going to be with us so we're most probably going to have to enjoy our drinks indoors. Uh, so what a better way to introduce you to 10 of my very 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 favorite Greek wines. Without further ado let's begin. Okay, we start with the three white wines in the list. And the first one is my all-time favorite of every single white wine I've ever tried. And it's called Sigalas Santorini Asiatico. Sigalas is one of the most successful uh, wine producers in Greece. The Domain Sigalas has won numerous uh, awards worldwide. Domain Sigalas is based in the island of Santorini hence the name Santorini as well, a beautiful island of Santorini. And the last word, the third word, Asiatico, is actually the name of the grape variety. I haven't put the vintage year of this particular wine because uh, most of its vintages have won either gold or silver awards in the Decanter Worldwide Awards. The 2017 vintage won gold award, the 2018 uh, won silver in the last uh, Decanter Awards. Price-wise, you can find it for an average of about 30, 35 pounds, sometimes even more. A world-winning uh, dry white wine, citrus, soft honeysuckle, smoke, gently salty and floral nose. There's real understated power and superb focus on the palate with a kiss of oak, which is beautifully integrated. A wine of real breeding, showing its varietal character, but also demonstrating the quality of the terroir. Couldn't say it better myself. The second white wine on our list uh, is another award-winning one. Uh, Ktima Giro Vasiliu Single Vineyard Malagusia 2018. Uh, it is a gold medal winner in the Decanda Worldwide Awards 2019. Uh, and there's a little bit of a history behind this particular wine. Uh, between the winemaker, which is the Yerba Siliu estate, uh, and Malagusia, which is the Greek grape variety. This wine is made with 100% Malagusia. Uh, the estate is in the area of Epanomi, uh, in the Macedonian region, uh, Macedonia, Macedonia, region of Greece. It doesn't break the bank. Uh, you can find it for between 15 to 18 pounds. Ripe nose of peaches and pineapple with sweet yams and an almost buttery richness peach and apricot flavors layered with honeysuckle and acacia and a long saline finish. Excellent. They say it, not me. I say fantastic, brilliant, amazing, exceptional. Get it. The third white on our list, it's Cavino Megaspileo Cuvée 3 White. It comes from the mountains of Ahaia in the Peloponnese region, a region that makes really, really good wines. It's a blend between Asirtico, which is the grape that I show you on the first white wine, with Malagusia, which is the grape that uh, I said to you in the other, and Chardonnay. Okay, so it's a 60% Malagusia blend, 20% uh, Asirtico, and 20% Chardonnay. The 2017 vintage won the 2018 Berlin Wine Awards silver medal. Uh, its aroma is intensively fruity. White flowers, basil, white nectarine and coconut butter in the mouth. Nice complexity on the palate, long refreshing aftertaste. A bold, gorgeous white wine to accompany creamy cheese and poultry. It's only around 11-12 pounds per bottle, so again it's not going to break the bank. All I would say is that it is very, very well made, very well made. We now begin with the first of the red. Greek wines on the list. I present you Domaine Messenicolis's uh, Messenicola Red. This particular estate is based in the Thessaly region, central Greece, uh, in the village of Messenicola. This particular grape variety, Messenicola's Black, Messenicola's Mavro, um, it's only produced in that particular area near the village of Messenicola's. You will not find it anywhere else in Greece, anywhere else in the world. It has 70% uh, Mavro Black Messenicola grape variety and 30% Shiraz and Carignan varieties. It has been categorized as appellation of origin of superior quality. A velvety wine 
rich in body and bouquet, the varietal composition with only 30% Shiraz and Carignan is enough to invade into the elegant characteristics of Mavro Messenicola, giving the wine its astonishing ruby, ruby color. Its full taste and bouquet of fruits of the forest will thrill you, while the interesting and long-lasting aftertaste will reward you for your choice. It is bottled in a limited number of bottles to ensure the best result, and before tasting this wine, the bottle should be left uncorked for at least 15 minutes in order to allow its aromatic characteristic to emerge. Wonderful with stews, roasted lamb, full flavor cheeses and fruit, especially apple. And you can actually find it at a price of around £16. Uh, yes, say that you're Nemea, uh, 2016. Um, as the name says, uh, they're based in Nemea, in the Peloponnese region. It's made with 100% Ayurgitico grapes. Uh, and it's a silver medal winner in the 2019 Decander Worldwide. Uh, World Wine Awards. Now, Year Estate uh, is again one of the most popular and successful estates, uh, wine estates in Greece. Normally, you will find it at about 33 to 35 pounds. So it is a bit of the expensive side, but it will not disappoint you. Deep red, black color, complex and high intense aromatic profile with elements of fruit, wood, vanilla and carnation. Mouth filling, Volume, body, structure and flavor complement the character of this unusual Nemea. It is ideally paired with grilled red meat, red meat cooked in red sauce or with mushrooms, poultry cooked in red sauce and aged cheeses. Time for the third and final red in our 10 wines. It's on the expensive side, I have to warn you that. Uh, but that is mainly because the grape variety is quite rare, uh, difficult to cultivate and still at an experimental stage. The wine is called Sigalas Mavrotragano. Uh, again, comes from Domaine Sigalas, uh, as the first uh, wine that I told you about. And surprise, surprise, it's from the island of Sandorini and it's made with 100% Mavrotragano grapes. You can find it, the starting price you can find it is around 56, 57 uh, pounds or more. The complex bouquet offers amazing flavors of baked blackberries, earthy plum, wild herbs, sweet tobacco, vintage leather and exotic spices. Beautifully balanced and structured with well-integrated tannins, which shows the potential of the wine's future. Notes of candied violets and licorice linger on the long-lasting length. Wine number seven on the list and the first of the two roses that I'm going to be recommending. The wine is called Alpha Estate Single Vineyard Hedgecock Amindeo Rosé. Uh, it comes from the Amintio, Amindeo area of the Macedonia region in Greece. Um, it has won for, I think, two or three years in a row now, the silver medal in the Decanter Worldwide Awards. And uh, it's made with 100% Xinomavro variety. You can find it for around £20 per bottle. Bright rose color with salmon color hints. Fruity nose with rich expression, rose petals and strawberries. Well-balanced mouth, quite full, fat but balanced, reminding the nose aromas with long aftertaste. Well paired with local cuisine, roasted red peppers, stuffed tomatoes and peppers. Pasta in light tomato sauces, grilled salmon, crab cakes, spicy gazpacho soups, pizzas, as well as with a great variety of exotic cuisines like Chinese, Thai, Japanese. Now the second uh, of the roses on the list. Again, it's another silver um, medal award winner from the Decandra Awards in 2019. It's a wine that comes from the area of Arcadia, again in the Peloponnese region, and from uh, a winery called Ktima Tselepos, Tselepos Estate. Uh, and the bottle is, or the wine is called Ktima Tselepos Gris de Noir Moscofilero 2018. Light smoky nose with bright red fruit, wild strawberry and candied raspberry on the palate. Stylish and very well made. Gentle pink with salmon hues, providing citrus fruit and blossom aromas. Notes of rose and jasmine. 
rich mouthfeel with balanced, refreshing acidity and long aftertaste. You can find it for about £22, so pretty much the same price as the first rosé. Milonas Sunday, Savatiano Aidani. A mouthful, I know. It comes from the Attica region, where the Greek capital Athens is. Uh, from the vineyards of Metohi and the wider region of Keratea. Okay, it's from the Milonas estate. Uh, again, a, um, a, a quite successful uh, winery uh, in Greece. Um, this particular one has 85% Savatiano grapes and 50% Aidani grapes. Price-wise, uh, it only costs about 12, 13 pounds. So for a dessert wine, it's a very good value for money. Traditionally made in a clay amphora. Light lemon with intense flowery aromas combined with those of fresh peaches, apricots and some notes of fennel and basil. Refreshing acidity that pleasantly balances with the sweet sensation given by the residual sugars. Delicate, light, tasteful with a long aftertaste. And we've reached the 10th and final proposition in our top 10. Another dessert wine. If you like port, you are going to fall in love with this particular wine. It's the third wine from the domain Sigalas. Now, this particular wine is called Sigalas Apiliotis Mandilaria. Uh, Mandilaria is the grape, the Greek grape variety uh, that has made this wine. Uh, again, it is a wine from the island of Sandorini. It's on the expensive side, but all I can say is that if you like port, uh, it will amaze you. The grapes are sun-dried for about 10 to 12 days uh, and then are taken to the crusher. The wine is then aged in um, old oak barrels for a minimum of 24 months. Uh, it's deep and rich red in color with the proper balance between sugars, tannins and acidity. Vibrant and complex aftertaste. Keep watching because I am going to uh, recommend to you two further wines, two special wines, um, that are not going to break your bank and are also exceptionally good. The first of the two special wines uh, is a red one. It's the Diamantakis Winery Petali Liatico 2017. Uh, it comes, as I said, from the island of Crete. Uh, the winery is based near the uh, village of Cato Asites. Uh, and it is a gold medal winner in the Decander World Wine Awards 2019. Uh, and it's made 100% from the Liatico grape variety. Warm cranberry and pomegranate aromas with a fragrant palette of ripe strawberry, red cherry and hedgerow. Light in body with racy, bright acidity and a persistent finish. Outstanding. And if you think that is a gold medal uh, winner, uh, you can find it at an average price of around £15 it's an exceptional value for money. The second special wine uh, is the white, uh, again coming from the island of Crete, uh, from the village of Venerato in Crete. Uh, it's called Idea Winery Ocean Thrapsathiri 2018. Uh, difficult to pronounce, Thrapsathiri. Um, now, this is a silver medal winner in the Decanter World Wine Awards. It's made from Thrapsathiri. Uh, grapes, lemon curd and white flower aromas with a dense and juicy palette of ripe peaches and fresh chamomile. Very impressive. You can find it for just £13 a bottle, one three, uh, which is a very, very, very good value for money for this particular white. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.